today we're gonna be reacting to um top five school bus freakouts caught on camera. So let's go ahead and do it. Hey everyone, this is String Crave here in today's video. We're gonna be going through the top five school bus freakouts. We got some kids that okay. went absolutely crazy. We got some school bus drivers who just lost their shit. You're gonna love it. Before we end this video, if you guys hate school, then make sure to like on this video. And of course, comment down below and tell me the craziest thing that's ever happened to you or maybe okay. somebody else that you know on a school bus. Maybe some crazy shit happened to the bus driver. Nope. Freak out. I don't know your life is like. Tell me the stories you have down there. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and also sub to my second channel. I'll leave links to that down in the description. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this top five, which is actually a top seven. In the number seven spot, this one's wild. Liar. The bus driver, he went completely loony. Seven, All because not the kids were making five. too much noise, freaking out, and things like that. Uh, so what he did in response was lock the kids on there so they couldn't get off the bus and proceeded to try to yell at them and things like that. Yes. All other parents were trying to get in, and uh, eventually the police actually had to come Just and get and these and kids off the bus because the bus driver wouldn't let them off. Why would he do bus that? driver says a group of kids from Dysart Elementary School were being unruly on his bus, and he wouldn't let them out at the bus stop until they behaved. Some parents Actually, it's your fault. Became upset and started knocking on the door. Okay, let's just. So, uh, it seems what's happening here is that this guy is just having a complete, total freak out. He's like. Why would you do that? That's just stupid. I mean, you're going to get arrested. I mean, it doesn't matter how loud they are. You still don't lock them on the bus. Um, not even my bus driver does that. Moving on to number six, this is my personal favorite clip on this entire list. It is just hilarious. Basically, this kid, he was in trouble because uh, uh, apparently he got caught throwing an ice ball or yeah, a snowball or something like that. Uh, and totally eventually, apparently, the cops ended up getting called. They came onto the bus <laughs> and just started absolutely berating this kid. Like, this dude, uh, I kind of feel like he went a little bit too far with it. Uh, however, yeah. this kid, he was very adamant in telling this cop that he wasn't the one who did it. But the cop was pretty straightforward that he thought he was the one who did it. Uh, so he tried to take this kid uh, into custody or something like that, or at least take him home to his parents and give them a talking to. Uh, but this kid, he wasn't taking that. He went full-blown savage mode. Like, this is the yeah. craziest shit ever. <laughs> Looks like this cop is. He is not having a good day today. He had to pull over a freaking school bus. That's. I don't know about you, but school buses are pretty big. Not lying. Off the bus now. Oh, he, this guy, he's about to go complete savage mode. And he's like, oh my god! <laughs> what? He's booking it. He's like, nope, he's not going to jail. Number five, this one's a little bit controversial. This bus driver, he's really well known for being a bit cranky. And uh, uh, he wasn't having it with one of the kids this day uh, and tried to move him to the very front of the bus. Uh, he was moving people around, things like that. Uh, so he started yelling, uh, and then he started yelling some more, uh, and even more intensely. Uh, and eventually, one of the kids got really irritated by it because he was being kind of, you know, just berated. Uh, so he stood up to this bus driver and ended up having to stand down. Uh, but it was a really, really heated exchange. Like, he thought that there might have been some punches thrown uh, there for a second. There ended up not being any, but yeah. it, it was pretty close, it almost felt like. Okay. Yeah, this guy's completely anyway. <laughs> Come on, get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. 
He's a savage. I've been here before, Spot. I'm not really sure what's going on with this one, what the backstory is exactly. All I know is this kid, he kind of seems like he doesn't really give a shit. Uh, in fact, he was freaking out on this bus, apparently, uh, so much that a teacher had to come on and hold him back. Like, she was physically oh, restrained yeah. and holding him down to this seat. Um, this and he one. was just going he wild, still jumping around, uh, cussing, cussing like crazy and just saying yeah. a bunch of crazy shit. Bro, are you mad ah! as hell? You better wrestle him. You better, you better wrestle him. He's got a savage. I need you to calm down. Okay, let's get this done. You bogus dude. He went to a tree. I think this was kind of ridiculous. This kid, he showed up just a little bit late to this bus stop. He's supposed to be there at a certain time uh, after school. He showed up like a minute afterwards. He's a and apparently the bus driver had already closed savage. the door. All he really had to do was open the doors and yeah. let this kid on. But he refused to do that. Uh, and wanted to leave without this kid. Uh, so he refused to open up the doors. The kid decided, you know what, screw this. Uh, I was only like a minute late. I'm going to go stand in front of the bus. So he, st he stood in front of the bus and then sat down later so the bus couldn't leave. Uh, he didn't actually end up getting on the bus because uh, an administrator came and took him away, according to the uploader. Um, this school is just unnecessary. <laughs> Pretty much here, we have a bus driver and a student who got into yeah. a, a quite heated argument. Uh, basically, the backstory behind this one is that this student uh, and this bus driver were actually on very good terms at the start of the year, and for quite a while they were as well. Uh, <laughs> eventually, this bus driver, for some reason, started kind of almost targeting this kid. Yeah. Uh, really stupid bullshit to get him in trouble or something like that. And this kid got really tired of it, and he kind of snapped after the bus driver got mad at him for sitting next to one of his friends and kind of consoling him because he was having a bad day. And he, like, tried to hug him or something like that. The bus driver freaked out about it. And this is a situation that ensued, and apparently, according to the uploader, most of the kids on this bus were actually in agreement with the student. Yeah, it's fucking ridiculous. Like, you are fucking F-U-C-K-I-N-G ridiculous. This guy was savage. It's kind of funny. Uh, apparently, these kids had the cops called on them while they were on the bus because uh, this a one's a very short clip. Out at cars through the window of the bus, uh, so they're just throwing them out. And uh, one of the ladies who got hit by one of these paper balls in her car uh, called up the cops. They showed up, and uh, <laughs> this is what happened. All I gotta say about this clip, besides that, is I love how the cops made their entrance. It was hilarious. <laughs> Those are the clips that I've heard. Oops, so you guys can enjoy it. We should like on this video. We can get 10 seconds. Okay, guys. I hope you like this video. I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading in a while. I've been super busy. Well, I'm just sorry. Anyways, hopefully I'll be uploading GTA 5 videos soon. Anyways. Happy holidays. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell and make sure. Anyways, also I haven't been up one because I'm getting sick and I have a cold. But anyways, bye guys. See you in the next video. Oh, it's gonna it's not let me stop. Okay, let's do it. Okay.